Hey everyone, my name's John and I'm going to do a quick video on what I think is the world's easiest golf swing. Uh, it's a combination of two swings, Mo Norman's single plane system and Jim Veneros is a uh, preset weight on the front leg, keep still golf system. I'll go through each of them. Um, like many, I spent thousands on golf lessons. Um, the more I, lessons I seem to have, the worse I seem to play. And the golf swing for me or the conventional just never felt like a natural thing to me. I'm in my 50s now. When I was younger, especially from the age of 15, I was heavily into bodybuilding, weightlifting, played all the hard sports, martial arts, everything. At my age now, I'm, uh, my joints are shot. Um, I, I just can't do that golf swing. And I'd go to lessons and they'd be like, you know, get this, get more hip turn. And it, it just didn't work for me. And I was watching a Seve Ballesteros documentary. Seve was way before my time. And he would talk about his swing. It had to be something that felt natural to you. And then when he started going to lessons, his golf game just fell apart when he started losing his game. But it was all about doing what feels right for you. So I thought about it and I thought, well, you know what? The Mo Norman swing felt more natural for me. Um, and even with the Mo Norman swing, I still had the problem of kind of holding back, not shifting the weight forward. So when I came across Jim's swing, that kind of solved that problem because you preset into the impact position. So what I thought I would do, one day I was at the range and I thought, what if I combine the Mo Norman swing with the Jim swing? And I've come up with this Jim Vanettis and Mo Norman hybrid swing, which I find very consistent. I think very easy on the body and I personally think it's the easiest swing in the world. Um, there is another guy online who has got the world's easiest golf swing and what he's kind of doing is what the Daryl Klassen swing was. It's basically like the collarbone drill. Okay, this is probably the easiest way to teach someone a golf swing, turn, but that still involves timing. You have to time the drop with the turn to hit a good golf swing. Now, I used to play like that for a while, not a bad swing, but again, I didn't find it as super consistent as what this swing is. So let's go through this swing. First, we have my Norman swing, and my Norman's probably best to see it this way, was a single plane system. Instead of doing the conventional, arms close, everything, Mo went out, slightly wider stance, single plane. Came on one single plane. Now, it is a little bit easier than a conventional swing, but still not as easy because there's a lot of time. You got to time the, body, the, the arms dropping with the turn of the body to hit the ball consistently. Then I came across Jim Venuto's swing. And Jim Venuto was, Again, we set up normally, but this time we preset all the way to the front, about 70, 30. We open the stance a bit and everything focuses off this pivot point, this fulcrum. So we keep still and you just hit. So from the, down the line, get our grip, stand normally, shift the weight, and you keep still and not a bad golf swing but because we're close here i found there was a margin for error because you could sort of move like this a little bit um so sometimes i didn't always hit the center of the club so when i was at the range one day and i said well what what if i combine mo swing now the beauty of mo swing is that you're fully extended you cannot extend that arm any further than what it is. So if you combine that with Jim's swing, so with Jim, we tilt about 70, 30. You, you get it to where you're balanced, even though the weight's on this side and you sort of, you're kind of stepping down onto this foot, you still kind of feel balanced. And what you do, we come back, everything fulcrums or uh, focuses on this pivot point, this fulcrum, it's like the iron barring. You ever seen that machine? It just goes off one little snap. Snap. And that's why it's very consistent. Well, there's a machine for starters. So if we go like this, all you do, so twist, slightly open your foot up. Shoulders about like a 45 degree. So we're already preset to an impact position, as Jim would say. We come back and we just fold down. 
very easy, very consistent. And then we let the club take the body around. Now, Jim's super, Jim is very, very um, still with his head and his shoulders and everything. If you see Jim, he's sort of like, but what I like about this hybrid swing is because the club is fully extended, it's going right back to where it is, where it started from. So we're like this. Now, if nothing here moves, when we come back and we drop, centrifugal force is going to make that go as far as out as it can. It can't go any further than what we're allowing it to. So we're going to hit the same shot over and over. And it doesn't matter which club you use. That was a six iron. Here's a three iron. Uh, sorry, three wood. Nothing changes. Let's hit the driver. So we get our grip, weight on the front, we go back and we just pivot, unfold and just bring it back. Keep everything still and I don't think it gets any easier than that. Um, and the more I do it, the easier and easier it's getting and I can play a whole 18 rounds, I carry my bag. Uh, I don't, it doesn't take any, it doesn't take a toll on my body. I don't come home with a really sore back or sore arms or whatever. It, it just, there's no, I don't know. I think it's the most simplest basic mechanical swing there is. Because really all we're doing is that. There's no time. I, I, I don't even believe there's anything with timing. You know, with the conventional golf swing, back, come down, time, twist. There's none of that. It's just. I went to a, uh, I went to a charity day, and um, they had one of those setups with the launch monitors for to see you could hit like the best drive with the best uh, smash factor, and I, I got second doing this driver, and they looked at me and they said, wow, and I hit it pretty well. I hit it, uh, I think it was about 280-something meters. And they sat there and they went, wow, that's a really weird swing. And I told them, I go, it's a combination Mo Norman, Jim Vanillas, and none of them even heard of either of those guys. But you can hit very long this way, and like I said, very consistent. So that's what I think is the world's easiest swing. Um, give it a go, especially if you're not, if you've got bad back or anything, I think this swing's gonna is a game changer. I'm over the point trying to look like Tiger Woods, as you can tell, but trying to have that perfect, beautiful golf swing. I tried it, I can't do it. It doesn't work for me, but this does. It's so much easier. Give it a go. See, so you go. I might do a few more videos if anyone finds this on YouTube three, four years down the track. Um, yeah, so see, you go with it. Take it easy. Bye.